Members of Ukrainian National Guard Spartan Brigade have thwarted another Russian attack near Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv region. The brigade inflicted heavy losses on Russians in terms military personnel and equipment. A number of Russian servicemen were killed and wounded and three infantry fighting vehicles belonging to Russians were destroyed. The operation comes a day after Russians' attack on Kharkiv. Russian forces attempting to advance in Kharkiv were stopped by Spartan Brigade who destroyed military equipment and a platoon of infantry of the Russian invaders, and also took a number of Russian troops as hostages. The brigade's aerial reconnaissance team first intercepted the movement of Russian military personnel and instantly launched strikes with the use of drones and UAVs. As a result of precise operation carried out by Ukrainian fighters, Russians suffered heavy losses. The adversary lost military equipment, in particular an infantry fighting vehicle and a platoon of infantry. One woman was killed and at least 16 people injured in a Russian overnight strike in the southern Mykolaiv region of Ukraine. Regional authorities on Tuesday said civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged in the strike, which caused fires to break out. The attack also damaged vehicles, a restaurant complex and a shopping pavilion. The attack took place around 2.30 am and was carried out with S-300 ballistic missiles, authorities added. The Air Force of Ukraine reported that Russia launched seven S-300 missiles at Mykolaiv and two KH-59 guided aerial missiles at northern regions of Ukraine. After a meeting with Ukraine's top military command on Monday, during which Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was briefed about Russia's winter and autumn plans, he cited the actual involvement of North Korea in the war. Whoever helps Russia, we will respond as firmly as necessary to defend Ukraine, Zelensky said in his nightly address to the nation. He also said that his victory plan, which he dubbed as Ukraine's strategy to compel Russia to a just end to this war will be presented this week to all our partners in Europe. He added that the plan will be presented publicly, including the initial response we have already received from our partners, he also said that 1 million Ukraine-funded drones have been delivered to the front line as of Friday. Серед головного була доповідь розвиток служби зовнішньої розвідки та ГУР щодо намірів росіян на осінь-зиму 
все доволі детально, фактично, включення у війну Північної Кореї. Також відносини Росії з деякими іншими країнами, які, на жаль, інвестують у затягування війни. У відповідь дав конкретні завдання силам оборони, силам безпеки, уряду і нашим дипломатам. Хто б не допомагав Росії, будемо реагувати так жорстко, як треба для захисту України. Буде і відповідна наша робота з партнерами, щоб російські наміри не спрацювали. Цього тижня ми представимо всім партнерам у Європі нашу стратегію примусу Росії до справедливого завершення цієї війни. Звичайно, план перемоги буде представлений публічно. Причому вже разом з тим першим реагуванням, яке ми отримали від партнерів. Станом на сьогодні є вже мільйон дронів, які були закуплені за державний кошт та поставлені на фронт. І це тільки те, що робить держава. Є також постачання від волонтерів, від усіх, хто підтримує.